the products that are out there right now for auditors tend to run the gamut of Excel, Active Data for Excel, Topcats, Microsoft Access, and moving up the, the chain there to ACL and IDEA, and then the WizSoft products, which have a very unique focus, yet also could be used by really anybody. When looking at your survey responses, you can see that as auditors move up the chain and into larger companies, you'll find ACL usage being more, IDEA usage being a bit more as well. Excel pretty much is across the board as being a data analytic tool, and the main one, of course, is the way we've asked this question, so what is your main usage product? And again, Excel also has its place there, and, and when you really take the three of those tools together, you find that that makes up almost all of the market. Microsoft Access, uh, again, also a product out there and, and something that is used by some auditors, and then you have Other, which is at the top range there. So again, pretty much representing everything that we've talked about in the list of products that we provided. I wrote an article about eight years ago for the Certified Fraud Examiner's magazine, and what we did was we laid out the various products that are being used by auditors, and then put tick marks next to the variety of, of data analysis features that are in those products, such as aging, merging files, calculating fields, doing pivot tables, etc. And without going through everything in detail on the presentation today, I just wanted to show you the level of tick marks that cut across every phase. I mean, there are a couple of categories such as fuzzy matching, which is done by WizSame a lot better than all the other products, really, uh, in that it, it has a, a whole product devoted to that purpose. But but when you look across everything else, of so filtering, gaps, etc., you can do a lot of these tests right out of the box with the products that are available to you. And what we did was we broke them out into core features, which I've just scrolled through quickly there, and then additional features. But in the core features, what you'll find is that, for the most part, it really doesn't matter which product you start out with because you will be able to get almost all of the core features that you would need as a data analytic auditor in any one of the products. Now moving into the additional features to consider, and let's spend a little bit more time on this one here, one thing would be audit logs where you may want to take a look at how well does it document the auditor's work data processing limits. We want to make sure that we're extending beyond, say, a limit if we have huge data files and need to process them. Graphing, of course, and importing advanced file types and, and having an import wizard are always key, but the advanced file types like AS400 files, EBCDIC files, PDF report files, these are all things that that auditors do need to get their hands on at times and, and be able to bring into their tools, but there are only a few products out there that really excel in bringing in that data. OLAP drill down, which is really through pivot tables, is, is right now only available in, in Excel, and, and that's interesting. You may want to use Excel still for that particular type of application, even though there is some drill down available in, in some of the other products. It, it really is something where pivot tables just completely excel at that area. It was, you know, it was almost like designed around the whole OLAP world was designed around pivot tables in, in essence. Pre-developed test scripts that you could get will cut across a few of the products, something to look at and, and something where it helps you to automate some of your work going forward. Having read-only access to your data is only a few products can really boast that because Access Excel it is really going to not allow you to do that. I mean, you're, you're going to be able to edit your data. Server applications, which we'll talk about in a second, is something that, again, only a few products allow. And work paper comments, you can get into almost every product now uh, with add-ins that they have that allow you to make comments to the particular uh, work paper that you're working on as you're using that particular product. So let's go now a little bit more into detail on a few of these other additional features. So one of the, the questions is really 
data marts and server benefits and getting into more of a having that audit data mart of centralized data backing it up in one place having all of your audit knowledge saved in one place and it has security user management you may be able to get better data than the actual business unit themselves because you're getting these automated feeds into your server it's very very useful you also can get faster processing times of your data the only thing though the reality is most of these audit areas don't require it you don't have to start out with a server and especially for many audits where you do an audit once a year or once every two years you, you really don't require a data mart all the time what you could do is just save the data extraction routine and then utilize that again later in the audit year maybe a year later server speed may also not be needed for smaller data sets so sometimes it's difficult to explain the ROI return on investment to getting a server right out of the gate it's kind of that high initial cost of a sledgehammer for hanging a picture you know initially over time you can sell the benefits of your data analytics having a data mart and sure at that point it makes a lot of sense to have that centralized system no one will argue that that is a better way to manage your data analytics another point that seems to go hand in hand with the server doesn't have to is making these audits more continuous doesn't really make sense for every audit area a lot of audit areas don't want a continuous audit and the, the ROI may not be there so business units who want to self-review their own work may only want to do such a thing on a one-year two-year basis and even though that is continuous I suppose it's not something that you really need a uh, a daily feed of, of data in order to process I think it's better to start small like we've been saying roll out a applications as you go and you know in essence audit does not have to manage it long term it's something where the business could actually manage it long term audit can be brought in periodically though to kick the tires and just make sure that the system is doing what it should be doing for the organization so again just to summarize you don't have to start out with continuous I think it makes a lot of sense to just over time start small and build it and organically grow it throughout the organization so in looking at all these tools and, and some of the tools that you'll be getting after the presentation I, I think you need to think about some of the core processing that's going to be done in the tool, some advanced features such as advanced data import that you might want to consider, the use of scripting, we'll be talking about some examples today. I think taking a look at every tool and just trying it out and from an ease of use point of view just testing out whether or not it, it is something where you like using that product again almost every product out there allows you a 30-day license to play around with the tool and you really should just to get a, a sense of each tool from a training customer support user group point of view I think that's a, an important consideration as well as how long has the company been in business and do they have a plan for for moving it forward last but not least I think integrating this work with your work paper package helps although I think a lot of these things tend to live in two separate environments one uh, being uh, in in one server usually uh, on your hard drive somewhere uh, server hard drive somewhere but yet uh, the other being a work paper management system that can link to that server so again I, I think these are all considerations uh, caseware has a, a wonderful little uh, product you can download it from that link there and it allows you to rank all of these points that we've talked about here so you can get that link download that particular uh, decision analysis tool and utilize it in your selection process